Well, we're looking forward to a great expo in Chicago this year. It's on October 17th through the 19th uh, at the Chicago Hilton. Uh, the, the theme of this year's expo is innovation. And we have tried to brand, uh, similar to Boca being a thought leader event, uh, Chicago Expo has really turned into an innovation event. So we have our innovators pavilion there where we're trying to get more creative ideas into the industry, uh, the next generation of ideas and market structure. Uh, so we're very excited about this year's uh, Chicago Expo. Well, we have some, some great keynotes and panels lined up for Chicago Expo. Uh, we have uh, Meet the New Commissioners uh, fireside chat that I'm providing with uh, Brian Quintez and Russ Benham. Uh, we have a video presentation from Chairman uh, Giancarlo. Uh, unfortunately, the chairman's gonna be at IOSCO this year, uh, presenting to that international standard setting body, but he is willing to uh, give a presentation to us uh, via uh, the video, so we're excited about that. And our keynote for lunch is Bob Woodward uh, from Watergate fame, and we're excited to have him. I think he's gonna have a unique perspective about uh, the Trump presidency, in relationship to historical presidencies in the past. We're excited to have Craig Phillips from the U.S. Department of Treasury speaking. Um, so Craig has taken on the role of really financial regulatory czar for the Trump administration. So he uh, has taken on the president's executive order that is trying to look to simplify and reform the regulatory structure post Dodd-Frank. And so he is uh, leading that effort to come out with several different reports um, the next report that will be coming out is on markets. Um, so it'll be very timely to have Craig giving a presentation on Thursday morning at Expo on that, that topic. Well, we have our Innovators Pavilion uh, in the Expo downstairs where we get 20 of the brightest companies in our industry that are starting up. Uh, we have a panel of judges that weed through um, you know, certainly 100 applications narrow it down to 20, and they'll be showcased down on our exhibition floor at Chicago. Uh, of those 20, uh, five of them are chosen by our panel of judges to give a Shark Tank style uh, panel in which we choose an FIA Innovator of the Year. So I think it's gonna be exciting. There are a lot of interesting ideas presented this year, and we're looking forward to that presentation. So Money Audet was uh, the Innovator of the Year last year. Um, they were able to bring uh, similar to Bloomberg screens and other things, you know, information at a very cost-effective way to uh, market participants. Uh, so they are, are on the cover of Institutional Investors, I think, uh, this month. Uh, so we're seeing some of our startups really start to take off. Well, we always have a, a very full house. Expo is our largest participant conference of the year. We tend to get nearly 5,000 people wandering through the halls of the Chicago Expo. Um, but, you know, the panels themselves are not quite as full as the 5,000, uh, but we'll at uh, peak capacity probably have 600, 700, 800 people in some of those rooms. This year, our, one of our exciting new sponsors is Amazon. Um, so as we, sh you know, the, uh, the, the industry starts to evolve into more of a technological uh, industry, uh, we're seeing some new participants come in. And this year, Amazon and NASDAQ are sponsoring our Innovators Pavilion. Um, so we're starting to see a lot more of the, the big technology companies show an interest in our industry. Well, we have the traditional, always to look forward to exchange leaders panel, and uh, that's going to be very exciting with the top CEOs from those global exchanges around, around the, the globe. So um, that's exciting. We have a clearing uh, house leader panel as well. Uh, so we have a lot of the clearing issues being discussed the next day, and that's, that's always exciting. And I'll be leading a Washington Outlook panel uh, on Thursday morning uh, with some insiders of the Beltway, uh, Washington giving an outlook of what this Trump administration is doing and uh, how that's impacting our industry. Other topics we'll be discussing, of course, is liquidity. And that's an important uh, to all our markets uh, that we wanna make sure there's proper liquidity in the marketplace as many of these regulations come into place. Uh, and also, it's a global conference, so we're uh, top of mind is, of course, MIFID II implementation, which goes live on January 3rd. We want to make sure that uh, not only European firms are ready and in compliance uh, when that date hits, but also U.S. firms have certain obligations. So we'll be doing several uh, panels on that topic and workshops on the side. Another issue, initiative I want to talk about, too, is we'll be doing some training sessions uh, in conjunction with the program. Uh, FIA is launching uh, a training initiative on 
getting into compliance with certain rules to make sure market participants are in compliance with certain regulations. So we'll be launching several modules of our training initiative around expo time. Um, we're very excited about it, but there will be some in-person live uh, training sessions uh, complementing our expo program as well. Thank you.